Hey, what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'm going to start getting into this book right here. For, the, for those of you that have uh, been watching my videos, I got this uh, workshop repair manual in the mail. And this book specifically covers the year 2000 models. And it could be executive, signature, uh, cardier. Um, it could be any of those trim levels, it doesn't matter, but it just applies for the 2000 year model. And uh, today, I want to be talking about identification codes on our vehicles. So if you guys want to learn more about your VIN number and what each individual section means, this book right here is going to break it down. So right now we are in the uh, general information section, group one. And this video is going to be talking about identification codes. Basically, is your VIN number. And uh, I'll just go over this real quick. You know, I'm not going to read everything. You know, I'm not, I don't want to feel like it's a story time. But uh, as you can see, it breaks it down for each section of the VIN number. So number one is a world manufacturer identifier. Two is restraint type. Three is line, series, body type. Four is engine code. Five is VIN number. Six is model year code. Seven is assembly plant. And eight is production sequence number. That breaks it down of the sections of the VIN number. And then it'll go into more in depth <clears throat> about, <clears throat> excuse me, more of the world manufacturer identifier. And then it tells you up here, the first three vehicle identification number positions are the world manufacturer identifier. So any of us that have uh, any Lincoln, doesn't matter the year, it's all going to start with 1LN, which identifies my car as a Lincoln, a USA passenger car. I'm not sure what the incomplete vehicle means. But it starts with the 1LJ. The limousines are 1L1. So that's what the first three mean in this section right here. Now the restraint code. That's what you'll find after the first three. So it's the fourth VIN. Position is the vehicle restraint system type code. And I'll tell you. Whatever yours is, I'll tell you right here. L is for active safety belts, all positions, driver and front passenger airbags. F is active safety belts, all positions, driver and front passenger second generation airbags. And H is active safety belts, all positions, driver and front passenger airbags. The front with driver and front passenger side airbags. So more than likely, if you guys have a passenger car, you're going to have H usually after your VIN. Mine is H, so this is what I have for my car. And here is how you can able to read the vehicle line and series code. Okay, so my salvage yard, it doesn't show pictures of, of the car that's in the salvage yard. You know, it just pulls up the vehicle VIN number. That's all it pulls up. It'll pull up the... The color, the year, and the vehicle VIN, and how long it's been on the yard. Now, this is very useful to me because I've always looked at the VINs, and I'm always trying to figure out uh, what kind of uh, trim level it is. And it tells you right here, M81 is an executive series. M82 is a signature, and M83 is a cardier. This is great information to know because now... Whenever I go online to view my pull and save, all I need to do is just come over to this section right here after the H. Can't miss it. And it'll tell you what series it is. And it's the easiest way to know. So if you guys are watching this and you want to distinguish the VIN number of what year you have, if you're not able to look at pictures, the VIN number will tell you, M83, M82, M81. 
Very easy. Then it tells you the engine code, which is the eighth VIN position is the engine displacement and number of cylinders. So obviously all our cars, all the Lincolns, 4.6s, they're all gonna carry this right here, which is only the obvious selection, but you can identify with that. Check digit code. The ninth van position is a check digit code. I'm not sure honestly what the check digit code means. If you guys know what it means or have a better explanation, drop a comment. And then the model year code. This will tell you the year of your car. If you're not able to look at uh, pictures or whatever, then they just have the VIN. You can break that down. Now, obviously, Y is the year 2000, Y2K. So it's going to be Y. For 99 and 98, honestly, like I said, I'm not sure. This book just applies for the year 2000 model. Um, could probably be an X or something of that nature. And then the assembly plant code. The 11th in position is the assembly plant code. Mine is a Y. I'm pretty sure all the Lincolns, you know, most of the good majority of them, they're all built at Wixom, Michigan. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's how you break it down. And then next is a uh, production sequence number. Usually right after the van, you have like a six digit. And it just tells you right here, the last six van positions are the production sequence number. These numbers determine the vehicle build order and provide warranty information. the vehicle certification label this right here the label is this this is a vehicle certification label you find this when you open your doors um, you find that white sticker on the on the driver's side door on the side and it just tells you uh, this will break it down it tells you every little thing about what this means what this means what this means We'll get more into that right now. So number one, we'll tell you the paint code. Two, we'll tell you the region code. Three, we'll tell you the special order code. Domestic special order, foreign special order, paint tire option special order. Brake type code. And you can find all that on your sticker on your door. It breaks it down right here. It tells you everything right here. Want to know the interior trim code? Right here, boom, five. It tells you. It'll be numbered right there. These are just blank, but it's, you get the idea. And then it gives you more codes up here for the door. Spring code, powertrain calibration information, transmission code, axle code, radio type code. And then it just gives you a, a different uh, pictures of a uh, verification label for Canada. So if you're Canadians are watching this, I'm pretty sure yours looks similar like this. And then people in Mexico, the verification label for Mexico. So then it tells you exterior paint right here. And it just tells you the two letters related to that paint color. There's more up here. Mine is HC. That's what mine is. Then this will tell you the brake code. There, there, the brake codes are three, four wheel disc brakes with analog brake system. Blank ABS brakes without traction control. 
So this book is very, very informative, guys. It, it really breaks it down. It helps you understand your vehicle. It helps you understand of what everything means in its place. See, and it'll tell you the next interior trim code. So if you're trying to find the color of your interior trim code, look on your door and it'll tell you right here. And then it'll break it down to paint, stripe, tape code. So you can find it right here. And then it breaks it down to the radio code. Which is cool because it, there's, there's three radio type codes. This P100I. HM100 L or P100I, which is cool. You can see it breaks it down. Pretty interesting. And then it gives you the axle code. This breaks it down to the axle. What kind of ratio you have in your axle. You can find that right there. So that's pretty useful information to know. And then it breaks it down to the transmission code. You can find the transmission code where the arrow's pointing. Again, guys, you can find all this on your door. Just open your driver's door and there should be a white sticker on it. And it'll tell you everything you wanna know. Just buy this book. If you got a 2000 and you want to learn your, uh, your, uh, what's that thing called? Verification label, excuse me, verification label. This will help you understand it. And you can find your transmission code right here where the arrows are pointing at. That's how you could find your, uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, your spring code. There's only one transmission code, which is a four-speed automatic overdrive, obviously. So it will just be you. This is going into the spring code right here. And it tells you the spring codes are as follows. And then it will break it down to the powertrain calibration information, which you can find right here. I'm not going to be talking too much, guys. I want you guys to read it. And uh, we'll go for it together. And that's it. The next section that I'll do, the next video, will be about jacking and lifting the vehicle. And we'll go over the jacking and lifting points and twin post hoist and single post hoist and drive on hoists. So, yeah, guys. This concludes our video for the vehicle identification numbers and as always i hope you guys enjoy and give us a thumbs up you guys stay blessed and on to the next one